Well, hello friends welcome to my channel this is a unplanned middle of the week impromptu video so what happened was last night i took off my tiffany knot bracelet and realized that i couldn't close it i was getting ready to put it away and realized it won't close the little catch is not i'm gonna show you in a second what i mean but i couldn't close it and so this is kind of an emergency run to the Tiffany store to have it looked at, repaired, replaced. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I am taking you guys with me. Sorry about the lighting. Okay, this is better. So yeah, I'm not glamour or anything. I'm actually going out with my friends tonight. It's my friend's birthday and we're going to a coffee concert. I don't know if you know the reggae artist Coffee. We're going to her concert. Um, tonight so I have to get glam tonight I didn't want to get glam right now so I'm just wearing a bodysuit pair of jeans and the uh, grabbed my everyday bag which is my Louis Vuitton, Vuitton bum bag and I'm wearing this really cute bucket hat from Gucci I unboxed it with you guys and I have the Gucci glasses as well I've had the sunglasses for a while now but if I can find a link I will link them but I will link the hat for you and I'm already here at Phipps Plaza, so I'm about to park and run up to the Tiffany store. While we're at it, speaking of tonight, I keep running into situations where I need a black bag that is black on black. No gold hardware, no silver hardware, no bright details, just a plain black bag. And so I feel like I'm going to look at one today. I'm interested in the Balenciaga Hourglass because even though I want it to be a black bag, I still want it to be chic. And I think if I get something where the shape of the bag is interesting, it will help to offset that there are no other obvious elements on it. Um, the other one that I like is the Dior saddle bag, the mini saddle except the strap is too short. It's just a shoulder strap and it's not long enough to be crossbody. So that kind of defeats the purpose for me because I want it to be an adjustable strap that gives me the option to wear it hands-free. So black bag, interest in shape, that's what I'm thinking. So while I'm here at Phipps, I'm gonna run into Balenciaga and um, see if I can look at the bag and if I like it, then we might just get it, right? So let me show you what's going on with this knot bracelet. And I'm sorry that the light in is crap. Let's see if I can turn some light on. This might be a little bit better. But um, yeah, this is not a sexy, well-edited video or anything. I just want to show you what's going on. So this is my knot bracelet. And you can see this is how it is. You're supposed to be able to push through one end into the other and then squeeze it closed and it's not happening. I cannot squeeze it closed. It's not going any further than the very entrance right here. So let's go find out what I need to do about that. All right, this is just super perfect because the Balenciaga store is right here and Tiffany is right here. So let's go to Tiffany and then we'll run to Balenciaga right after. You never know, that's the thing. I mean, they're pretty, but they're just not alive. Yeah. Yeah, we need to make them come alive a bit more. Yeah, this ring is a winner. Yeah, my ring today is filthy. Let's not look at her. I gotta clean it. Okay. I love it. Guys, I'm wearing zero makeup, but aren't these pretty? Uh huh. These might be the drop earrings of my dreams. I like them. Okay. Very cute. The length is good because Jay's always given trouble. Of course, I'm trying things I didn't come here to try. But how cute is this? Take my advice.
take some time even though it's just a smile but I all right guys, so my knot bracelet is getting sent off. They're going to look at it. If they can fix it, they will. Um, or it might just get replaced if they find that it's this particular bracelet, like this actual unit that has an issue, then they'll just go ahead and replace it. But I'll have to wait and see. Hopefully by the end of the week, I will find something out. I'm super sad to be without it. It's literally a bracelet that I've worn every single day since I got it in January. So I've been wearing it for four plus months now, wear it every single day. So I hope they can fix it and we'll see. But in other news, I purchased two things from Valenciaga. So what I think I will do is get ready for the night and I will take you guys to the concert with me. I am going to see coffee tonight. So I'm gonna take you with me and I will do the unboxing of the two items with you as well. And then I'll show you my OOTD because I will be wearing them both. Um, obviously one item was premeditated. I knew I needed that. So that's what I got. And then the second item I had vowed all my life that I would never ever purchase. And it was a surprise for me, but I've had a change of heart because the color, um, that they're available in now, I really like it. And also it was a game changer <laughs> so I won't give it away um, keep watching and you will get to see what it is that I bought and we will talk about that in a bit so actually right now I am going to Kendra Scott to pick up a gift um, for my friend and then I'm gonna go home and get ready so do you guys want to come to Kendra Scott should we include that in this mock-up of a vlog I think we should let's do that and I almost forgot guys so of course while in Tiffany I tried on a couple things because <laughs> that's just how it is so what do you guys think so I love that knot ring um, it is super super cute when I had been browsing the website previously they only had those thinner ones that I don't love as much but the thicker one that I tried on I think it is so gorgeous it is kind of a great match for the bracelet and I think it is so so cute so now that is on my wish list and then I also wanted to check out the the knot drop earrings but um they don't bring the amount of oomph that I wanted them to bring so I think I'm gonna delete that from my wish list but I do like the Tiffany Victoria drop earrings that I tried on so those might make their way onto the wish list instead we will just have to see and then that necklace was really cute too like, so definitely right now though my priority is the Tiffany line necklace the um, Tiffany Victoria all diamond line necklace I feel that is definitely missing from my collection I've been wanting it for like two plus years now um so yeah that is gonna be my priority i do love the hardware collection but i want the line necklace first so that's kind of the order of events yeah but i hope you had fun on this impromptu little journey it always works out like this for me somehow but anyway let's run into kendra scott real quick it takes some time even though it's just a smile but i hate it when i'm faking with you all night in the body that ain't mine thinking i am gonna bust you hi friends so i found two really cute things for my friend at kendra scott the store is so cute the girls are so great always so great all of them remembered me from when I went there with my mom for Mother's Day. So if you haven't seen that video, I actually did a really good video on Kendra Scott and David Yearman pieces. And I showed you a whole lot of things that was during Mother's Day time. So you can check that out. But anyways, they remembered us and told me to sit, say hi to my mom. And, you know, we had a good time. You know, just like really genuine people who are super cool and give great customer service without trying it's just super effortless that's how they are so i like supporting the store and seeing the girls so anyways 
now I'm going home. I need to, I have an idea of what I want to wear, but I need to put it together. And I also need to unbox my two Balenciaga items. And so we'll do that together. All right, friends, I'm home. Let's begin our double unboxing of our Balenciaga items. So let's start with the surprise unboxing first. We sink into the oceans, blue the ocean, the ocean, the ocean. I guess we sink into the ocean. All right, guys, I got the famous <laughs> uh, Balenciaga sock sneaker. Now, I have been hating these sneakers four years absolutely vowed i would never ever ever buy them and mom i know you're watching this yes i know i broke my own rules but i love the black on black i didn't like the one that was a white bottom on the black i thought that didn't look good but i love the black on black and what really sold me was when i put them on this is the most comfortable thing i've ever put on my foot these are literally the most comfortable shoes I have ever worn ever. These are the most comfortable sneakers I've ever experienced and that is what really really sold me on purchasing these Balenciaga shoes. They are exceptionally comfortable and I need some comfortable shoes because you know I work in a warehouse um, for my business and stuff and a lot of days I'm very casually dressed but I have a lot of running around to do and a lot of stocking to do and inventory and moving things back and forth. And these are just some great shoes and the quality of them is amazing. It's not your ordinary like sock fabric, right? These are actually really good, super strong, not going anywhere. And the bottoms are very sturdy and just indestructible and that is what changed my mind. So tonight we're going to a concert and we're going to dinner before. So this will be at least a seven hour night where we'll be on our feet a lot and stuff. And I think this is just such a wonderful option. All right, guys, let's take a look at item number two, which is our handbag. And I just love Balenciaga packaging. This kind of silver gray is just so attractive to me. Let's go see which one I picked out. Ta-da! So this is the Balenciaga Black on Black Hourglass in the extra small size, not the micro. So this one is not a bad size at all. It has a little opening on the back here, which I really love. I'll be able to stick my phone in here really easily if I wanted to. It has this great sturdy stop, um, top handle. And it's just a single top handle, not the double like some bags have. And then I opted for the matte black B. I think it just looks more subtle and super chic. Has a great magnetic closure, super strong magnet. And then, of course, it has this great crossbody strap that matches the bag which is kind of a croc leather and what i love the most about this bag is the interior has nothing so when you have a bag this small you don't want to have too many card slots and dividers and stuff because you want to maximize the space and have the option to put as much as possible so i love that they've just left it empty and smooth it is a leather lining, not fabric, so I love that as well. And it fits my phone very comfortably and leaves a lot of space. So I could actually stack my wallet in there and a bunch of other things. And it's just such a fabulous size. Now the matte black is also for the attachment for the strap. And you can lay them down so it looks a bit more invisible when you're wearing this bag top handle. Or... You know, obviously you can put on your strap, but I'll show you in a minute how it all comes together. But I absolutely love this bag. The strap is adjustable, so that is awesome. And I'm going to go get ready and then I'll show you how the look comes together. Well, hi friends. I've changed out of my troll attire and I'm ready for dinner. So if you have seen my spring lookbook, this top was in the spring lookbook. It is from Zara. It has, well, I'll show you the whole look in a minute. 
and then my pants i've had for almost two years they are from asos they are faux leather but they are of the highest quality faux leather i'll try to find something similar for you they snatch you in they're such high quality um they're just as good as the spanx maybe even a little bit better and i like that these are the matte black and then i've started out the evening with my tom ford disco platform heels which i have unboxed for you you can check that video out too and then i brought my balenciaga sneakers to switch into when we're heading to the concert and then i'm wearing my balenciaga the extra small size there is one smaller than the extra small i think it's a micro but anyway the bag that i just unboxed with you my balenciaga hourglass in extra small black on black and so I'm doing a black on black look tonight and I'm feeling it even though it's springtime. But but yeah, I feel like this works with the theme of tonight, you know, reggae concert and great dinner and all of that. So yeah, so once I get to the restaurant, I will check in with you again and I will take you with me. Okay guys, here's our restaurant destination for the night. It's called The Consulate here in Midtown on 10th Street, across from the Smarter Station. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, and they're 
going on right now. <laughs> you just wait. You just wait. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, you got caught it, it on I that got velvet. It. I got it on the velvet. That velvet caught it. Oh, Kurt! Now the food wasn't a 10, it was probably an 8, but the location is great because it is so close to our next destination, which is the Tabernacle. That is where coffee is performing tonight. So I'm actually outside the Tabernacle. You can probably see the Ferris wheel right now. Um, so we're looking for parking and then we're going to head into the Tabernacle and see coffee and friends perform. So let's just pray for me that we can find parking real quick. It's now 8.15. Um, the concert was supposed to start at 8, so we will see how it goes, guys. Let's go down this narrow road and see what happens. Pray for me. How about that? Yeah. We will finally be free. Free of all our expectations. No more couple invitations.